Hello, in today's video we're going to go through these uh, Eurocam turners by Sparrows. Um, I got these from UKLockPickers.co.uk. I'll put a link in the description to their website, but if you're not in the UK, just go to your Sparrow stockist. Um, I'll put these up on screen so you can see a bit closer, uh, but they look quite similar to dimple picks, but they have a, a longer tip that's slightly curved. In today's video, we'll do show you some practical examples of it working in a, in a few locks that I've got here, and then I'm going to take apart one of them cylinders and they'll show you exactly why it works. So let's go straight into the uh, practical example of seeing these in action. So I have three locks here. Um, I have an ERA, a Yale, and a Maxus. And as you can see, they've all got very slightly different keyways. Um, they're all six pin, not that that really matters. Um, and they're all thumb turn, which obviously is important. Um, so you've got two tools. I assume the second tool is for uh, different types of keyway. But I've never actually had to use that one. I've always used um, this one, which is slightly curved to the right, I would say. Um, so just push the key, uh, pick all the way to the back of the keyway. You may need to push down the pins as you go, pointing the pick upwards. And as you get to the back, you push slightly down on the pick. There we go. Push slightly down on the pick and then twist. So as easy as that. That was a Maxus. Try the Yale. Once again, pushing straight to the back. Slightly down on the pins. And away we go. And lastly, the era. Oh, very easy. And there you go. So it works on most locks. Uh, there are locks that have got um, protection against this sort of attack. But um, in the next part of the video, we'll go through, we'll take one of these apart and I'll show you why it works. So I've already started by removing the two circlips from either side of this um, cam. Um, I'm just going to remove the arrow ever so slightly to enable me to get that cam out. Um, I slowly remove the thumb turn without losing everything. You see that there's a spring in there. Let's try and get it all out together. Nope. Gonna make a mess. So you have the cam and you have this driving segment. That has a pin through it. Not all of them are like that. Um, some of them are sort of cast in that shape. But they all have this notch on here for your key to enter into. So once you, all your pins are lined up and your key's in the right place, your key will automatically be pushed to the back of the barrel when you started. And now it's enabled to turn, it can turn this around. Now when this is fitted on here, and the cam is on it, as we turn this brass driver, it will in turn turn the cam. And obviously the cam can always turn to, uh, the thumb turn can always turn the cam as usual. So as we insert our bypass tool um, and push it right away to the back with a little bit of force as I was saying and we begin to turn it it will then in turn grab a hold of this driver and enable us to turn the thumb turn and the cam. 
So that's how it works. So there are a few locks that have uh, a few tricks to stop you doing that. Um, and also most of them require you to have pressure on this pin uh, to enable the cam to move or to engage. So yeah, it works on most locks with thumb turns obviously. If it's not a thumb turn, it obviously won't work because the layout of this inside is, is different. So as you can see, these can be a handy, very handy little tool and can get you through a door very, very quickly. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. We've got more videos coming up on lock picking, uh, lock support, uh, all sorts of tools and things like that. Um, probably the next one's going to be on this bypass tool. Um, so if, you, if you're if you interested in that, make sure you subscribe and give this video a like if you've enjoyed it. Um, so hopefully see you next time.